All right. What's up, everybody? How's it going tonight? Let's go, Brooke! <laughs> As you uh, bring your conversations, which I'm sure are exciting to a close, welcome to Thursday Night Greenhouse. We're so pumped that you're here. My name is Chase. I'm part of the Circuit Rider family. If you're wondering what Greenhouse is, I just need to know, how many guys are like first time Greenhouse tonight? Whoa, can we welcome all the first timers? Hold on a second. That was like... That was golf clap welcoming. We gotta make everybody first time feel like family tonight. So if it's your first time, we're pumped you're here because we go hard after Jesus and we know that you want to. You probably wouldn't be here otherwise. But if it's your first time, raise your hand. Can we welcome everybody who's first time? So awesome. Well guys, why don't you stand to your feet as I give a short introduction and then we're going to fix our eyes on Jesus and worship tonight. Uh, if I get your attention super quick, super quick, I know this is so exciting. Guys, this has been a really special week for us as a Circuit Rider family. Um, we have some of our dear friends, and they are legitimately family in our YWAM uh, communities. If you're from YWAM Kona, you came in from Kona, can you raise your hand really quick? So awesome. I got to spend an afternoon um, with the crew here that serves in the worship and prayer department out in Kona. These guys are so hungry for Jesus. It's been such a gift to have our Kona friends here this whole week. They brought such hunger for Jesus. And Kona is literally touching and blessing the nations of the earth with the gospel. So we've been leaning in together, going after God together, and I'm excited to see what God's gonna do tonight um, as kind of our last moment to worship all together with our family from Kona. So these guys are here. We got first timers. How many of you guys are like, I'm here every Thursday? All right, here's the two things you need to know about Greenhouse. Everybody say number one. Okay, first thing you know about Greenhouse is Greenhouse is not primarily for us, it's primarily for Jesus. Yes. We have three times open to the community a week, Tuesday, Wednesday morning, Thursday night, where we just want to go as hard as we can after bringing Jesus a pure offering of worship. He's worthy of everything in our hearts and our lives. And so we set aside these three times a week to say, we want to gather with our community and with those from the community and say, Jesus, you are worth the wildest shouts of praise. Yeah. Jesus, you are worth our hearts being poured out in song. Jesus, you are worth giving everything that's in our hearts poured out before you. So Greenhouse is first and foremost primarily so that we can love Jesus. Okay, second thing though is Jesus is so kind is second thing in Greenhouse is we just believe, especially on these Thursday nights, that Jesus so loves us, he also wants to minister to us. He also wants to come and speak to us. He wants to heal broken bodies. He wants to heal hearts. So tonight, um, one thing in prayer that we have felt on these Thursday nights, if you've been coming, you've experienced it, but we have been pressing in for a breakthrough for us to experience Jesus the healer. We have been seeing physical healing break out but we know there's more so after we fix our eyes on Jesus and pour out our worship we're believing for a healing outbreak in this room tonight and we're going to go after it all together as friends that sound good okay that's the two things you need to know now the most back to the most important thing we're going to fix our eyes on Jesus and worship him with all of our hearts tonight so if you want to come fill the front right now you're welcome to I'm going to read a few verses lead us and then these guys are going to take us in okay Psalm 63, verse 2 through 4. Here we go. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. Does anybody want to behold the power and glory of Jesus tonight? Same. Take us there, Lord. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. Good news tonight. Whether you feel his love or not, it's better than life. And so we have something to praise him for. Last verse. So I will bless you as long as I live. In your name, I will lift up my hands. Okay, so we're going to obey the Bible. Can every person in the room, can we lift our hands to Jesus tonight? And before these guys even sing a song, before they lead us in something we know, that third verse said that because your love is better than life, my lips will praise you. Can we let praise come out of our mouth from your heart? It can be just a tone. It can be one word. It can be I love you. Can we let praise rise to Jesus, a prayer, a song, 
Let it come out of your mouth before this team leaves you. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we praise you tonight. Lord, we're here to bless you. We come in, Jesus, because you made a way with the blood you shed on that cross, Lord. We come in with confidence tonight. We say we love you, Jesus. We bless your name, God. We lift you high tonight, Lord. Oh, be blessed tonight, Lord, in Jesus' name.
this afternoon, one of the Hebrew words for praise is halal. And it speaks to a rambunctious, clamorous celebration. I've mentioned this before in the greenhouse, but I feel we're not going to wait till 45 minutes. I feel like we're coming before our living king and saying, we love you. And we're here to celebrate you. And so any last hindrance, we're going to bust it off with a shout. I'm going to let these guys keep leading. But sometimes a shout allows us physically to enter in where our heart's already at. Because I feel every heart's already there. Like, I'm pouring everything out. But we're going to lift a wild, rambunctious shout of praise because we serve a living God who right now is in our midst as we praise him. So on the count of three, we're going to lift a shout of praise celebrating that Jesus is alive. Can you do that with me? Okay, on the count of three, let's lift a shout of praise and we'll keep worshiping. Ready? One, two, three. to the 
Jesus a few minutes ago. And what I want to encourage us to do is as the band plays, I just feel like there's an authentic song from your own heart, from your own lips, uh, not led by words on a screen. I just feel like there's a heart overflow tonight to Jesus. So for the next few minutes as the band plays, I just want all of us in the room to engage directly with Jesus. Lift your own song of praise your own melody of praise. We're going to sing our own song of praise to Jesus for the next minute. Every voice in here, we're lifting our own song. Maybe it's the first time you've done this. We're singing a new song to the Lord tonight. We're responding to Him, initiating His presence in the room. Every voice, we're responding. We're singing our praise to Him. We're singing our praise straight to Him. Every heart, every voice in the room, we love you, Jesus.
I kind of want to just give some context to kind of what we've been singing around. I just feel like primarily just this generation is so, so done with fake encounters, so done with just going around from church to church or ministry to ministry. We're just looking for opportunity or looking for fame or acceptance. We're just caught in insecurity and it's really just an attack from the enemy to not see Jesus, to not see him for who he is. And so I just wanted to read this. Um, we wrote a new song and it could totally flop tonight. I just really don't care anymore. I'm, I'm in a love encounter, so <laughs> just been crying this whole time. But I just wanted to read the scripture to you to kind of give you some framework to what the song is about, where we're gonna go, I really just wanna just have a spirit of unity in this place today because whenever there's unity and whenever you see Jesus rightly, miracles happen. And if, if we're just contending for healing but we're not, we don't agree on who Jesus is, what are we here for, you know? And so I'm gonna read this and we're gonna sing a song and you're not gonna know it. But you can just read the lyrics and we'll just see what happens. But let's, let's just all agree tonight that we just want to see Jesus. We don't care about a huge gathering. We don't care about being known or being seen by anybody else but Jesus. And so when we sing this song, I'm not, I'm not telling you and trying to force emotion. I simply just want you to see Jesus. And that's it. So I'm going to read this and we'll see how this goes, yeah? <laughs> oh. out of Revelation 5. If you don't know anything about Revelation, it's not really that scary of a book. I know there's some strange things going on, but it's really just the revelation of Jesus, just to see him rightly. Verse 4, it says, Then I began to weep bitterly, because no one was found worthy to open the scroll and to read. But one of the 24 elders said to me, Stop weeping. Look, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the heir to David's throne, has won the victory. He is worthy to open the scroll and its seven seals. I feel like we just get too caught up. We get way too caught up in life 
we make it about ourselves. But if we would just look to Jesus, if we would just see him rightly, and we would have revelation to know him, we wouldn't have to chase anything else but to see him. A lot of people are endlessly searching. They're searching for purpose. They're searching for identity. And they don't know it's Jesus. Who are we to be the people to gather as the church or to gather and make these huge events but not tell people? We have to know this. We have to know this man. We have to know him. If we don't know him, this life is meaningless. It's all just a waste of time. So as we sing this, just look at him. I know we keep saying this. I know we sing about it, but we, do we really know what it means to look at him, to see his face, to read these scriptures? Do we really know what it means to know him? I feel like I've just even been stale these past two or three months and I'm just going, just going, going, going. I'm tired of that. Aren't you tired of just going through life in circles? You wanna have a real encounter, a real revelation of Jesus. So you can be lit on fire for the rest of your life. So you can burn when you're 70. That's what I want. We're gonna sing this. It's really easy, so you'll catch on. But once you get it, just close your eyes and look at him, okay?
time. Thank you, Lord. presence of the Lord tonight, celebrating that he is able, he has all power to do what no one else could do, amen? The last few songs have been singing about the glory and the ability of Jesus to do what no one else could do. No one else could beat sin, no one else could conquer death, no one else could reign as a righteous, pure king. He's the only one, but not only is he able I've been standing over here all night. I feel the Lord keep whispering to me, I'm willing. I, I want to. Not only can I, I want to. And we're going to try something. We did this a few weeks ago. We're going to sing this as we pray for those who are sick to be healed. And I don't know if Zach can make up a cool lyric for it. Like, is, is he able to heal the sick? He is! You know, can we do that? Oh, yeah, you heard that. Um. Matthew chapter 8 says this. Jesus preaches the most famous sermon, Sermon on the Mount. He's coming down the mountain, and this is what happens. He came down from the mountain. Great crowds followed him. And behold, a leper came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. Now, a leper in those times would have been outcast of society. And if you touched a leper, a leper according to the law, you became unclean. But the law met someone greater than itself. Because the leper knew, no, there's a fulfillment of the law before me. If you're willing and you touch me, I'll be healed. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him saying, I will be clean. See, sometimes when we pray for the sick, I feel like we're begging a father like, oh, would you please? I feel like he wants to say, no, 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 no. I'm able and I'm willing. That we are approaching with an expectancy and a faith tonight that Jesus the healer is the same as he was in the scriptures that we read day in and day out. The same Jesus that looked that leper in the eye and said, I will be clean, is the same Jesus that we are roaring in worship and singing our praise to tonight. He hasn't changed. He's here tonight in all power and all glory, ready with one word from his mouth, with one touch of his presence, to tell every single infirmity and sickness, you have to bow to the feet of Jesus. So here's what we're gonna do. I, I, I'm chucking my plan really quick. We're gonna try something different. We might do it in a second, Circuit Riders. But first, if you're in the room and you're like, I need a healing touch from Jesus tonight, I just want you to put your hand up really quick. Keep it up. And here's what we're gonna have. We're just gonna have one or two people right around. There's a lot of us in here tonight, so we need to touch on the power of God. And what's gonna happen is, I want you guys to pray 30 second prayers of faith. Ask them what it is they need healing for. Pray a 30 second prayer of faith after those prayers of faith, really quick, we're going to come back and we're going to sing this chorus. And we might do a round or two. So quick prayers. And in just a second, we're going to come back and sing that he is able to heal. And he is willing to heal. Lord, we ask right now tonight in Jesus' mighty name, God. In faith, Lord, you are able to drive out any disease. You are able to heal any sickness. And you are willing. So Jesus, we're asking tonight. Our willing King, would you touch sick bodies tonight? Would you heal those with infirmities, impossible diseases? Somebody with fibromyalgia, would you release a healing touch tonight, Lord? In Jesus' mighty name, I ask for a power to sweep through this room, Lord. Our willing King, would you touch sick bodies tonight? In Jesus' mighty name. Okay, I know I'm interrupting your prayer. I'm interrupting your prayer. We're going to try this really quick tonight. I'm interrupting your prayer. It's okay. I believe God's already touching people. Let me get your attention really quick. Here's what we're going to do. I believe God is already moving in power. And so we're going to sing this response by faith. Whatever it is that, how Zach wants to sing it, we're going to, res we're going to respond with a song, exalting Jesus the healer over every infirmity in the room. 
and then we're going to pray one more round. But I want us to sing this one more chorus, and we'll go back and pray. So everybody in the room, we're going to sing this out, and then we're going to pray one more time. anybody in the room though as people were praying for you is there anybody that felt a manifest presence of God or you felt something shift in your body can you just wave your hands at us right here okay got a few over here God's moving one over here okay if you know you still need a touch you're like I know he's able I know he's willing I still need it can you put your hand up we're gonna go one more round of prayer in this big group moment Okay, quick 30 second prayers. Remember, ask them what it is. We're gonna go one more round, just believing for a healing power to touch physical bodies tonight. Jesus, we thank you for your precious body that was broken for us, Lord. We thank you for your blood that was shed for us, Jesus. We appeal to you, King of Kings, Lord. We say all power resides in your hand, Lord. We ask for a touch from your presence. Let your hand of healing come and touch every sick body tonight, Lord. We say all across this room, would you release a touch from heaven, God? Would you release your power, Lord? We come with childlike expectancy and faith, God. We ask, release your power tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Joyce, we're going to celebrate our healing, miracle working Jesus. Lord, we just thank you, God, that you are moving in power tonight, Lord. We just thank you for those that have waved their hands, have already been touched by your presence, Lord. We're asking one more time, Lord, would you release your glory on every physical infirmity, God? We say there's nothing impossible for you, Jesus. There's nothing impossible for you, Lord. We ask for impossible diseases to be touched right now in Jesus' mighty name. 
you wrap up praying, they're going to lead us. We're going to rejoice. We're going to celebrate Jesus, our miracle-working God. So if you're wrapping up praying, we'll bring it back together. We're going to lift up Jesus for a few more minutes tonight. Come on, I don't know what happened, but we celebrate what you're doing tonight, Jesus. Let's worship him. He's moving in the room. God, keep releasing power tonight, God. Keep releasing your glory tonight, Jesus. Keep releasing your glory tonight, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, he is. Let's go. Come on, Jesus. over here. I just want to stir faith. We don't always do this, but I just felt I wanted a quick testimony. God is moving. We're going to pray one last time and keep singing this, but God is healing. So I just wanted a quick testimony from Rebecca really quick. So here we go. Quick 30 second testimony. Tell us what happened. Hi, um, my name is Rebecca and I was feeling really bad neck pain. Like every day, like I would wake up with so much neck pain and even to like to pray, to bow my head, it would hurt so much. My head, I would get headaches and they were praying for me. Like her name is also Rebecca, by the way. Thank you so much. And they were praying for me and completely gone. Like, no more pain. God is so good. Praise God. Come on, show us really quick. You can move it around. No pain. Okay, come on. Let's keep singing this out, and then we'll pray one more time after this song. And I believe in you. I believe in you. You're the God.
So we're going to go one last round, specifically praying for the sick. We got one or two more things we're going to pray tonight, but we're going one more round. I feel like we just broke into a place of faith uh, tonight. It's a new realm of faith tonight. So one more time, if you're like, man, I know I still got something going on. Put your hand up one last time. We're going to just pound on heaven's door one last time. We're just going to go one more round, believing for a full breakthrough tonight, Lord. We're thankful for the way you're moving. Just quick 30-second prayers of faith. We're just going to pray one last time tonight before we do a few other things. Lord, we ask tonight in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. We ask in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Would you put your hand on every sick body, Lord? Would you release healing tonight, Lord? In Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for how you're moving in power tonight. We thank you for pain leaving bodies. We thank you for health and wholeness. We thank you that you purchased it on the cross, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, we're gonna pray for one more group. I know you guys are praying. If you did get healed, please come tell a circuit rider over here in this corner, but here's what we're gonna do. If my circuit rider teams, I think Bryce told you, we're gonna have like five or six teams of two over here, maybe more, but one more group of people I wanted to pray for is maybe there's something in your life like plagued with anxiety, plagued with the depression. There's something on the inside, you're like, I feel like I need a liberty, a freedom. I just want somebody to pray for me. I feel like I'm under the weight of the enemy. I just feel like, I just need some liberty and freedom tonight. There's freedom in the presence of the Lord. And so I just felt tonight, if you came in needing a touch from Jesus, there was something in your life, or maybe you just needed to confess sin to somebody so you could be free. I just felt there was a freedom and a liberty for you tonight. We're going to have five or six circuit rider teams, so just come over here. We can make like five or six small lines if that's you. Is there anybody here that, like, man, I would love to get some prayer tonight. Can you put your hand up really quick? Okay, all across the room, I see a few over there, a few right here. If you put your hand up, I want to encourage you to take one step of faith. Head over to this side of this room. We've got a few circuit rider teams that are going to pray for you tonight. I'm telling you, God's releasing healing. He's releasing liberty. He's releasing freedom. Just for the next few minutes, if you're not getting prayer or you're not praying for somebody, as these guys lead us, I just want you to continue to engage with Jesus. Don't check out because people are getting prayer. Continue to engage with Jesus in this realm of his presence and faith. I'm telling you, there's more tonight. So we're going to sing for a few minutes while these guys get prayer and we'll keep praying out here. So maybe a few more ladies see our staff if you could join us over here. It's a little crowded. And then my oldest son's going to pray us back into singing. But a few more ladies over here. We're going to pray for a few more minutes. Pray it out.
liberty tonight. Come Let's on. Sing it out. We're the spirit. We're the spirit of the Lord. Is there is freedom, and your spirit lives in me. We're the spirit of the Lord. Is there is freedom, and your spirit lives in me. We're the spirit of the Lord. Is there is freedom, and your spirit lives in me. We're the spirit of the Lord. with Jesus, guys, even if it's just putting thanksgiving on your lips, he's moving in the room. So a lot of people are getting some powerful ministry and prayer, so I don't want to move too swiftly. We're just going to linger here for one or two more minutes. So even if it's just putting gratitude on your lips for what God's doing tonight, while the band plays, they might sing a little bit, but we're just going to stay engaged with Jesus. We're going to end up coming all back together. We're going to lift high his name. There's another song of praise I feel like to erupt out of our hearts tonight. So we're going to come back together, but we're just going to linger for another minute or two um, while others are getting prayer. I just feel the Lord's moving. Um, in some real deep ways, so we're just going to linger here for one or two more minutes. Let's go ahead and do this. There's one more group of people I felt on the way here. I felt the Lord whisper to me, make sure you get everyone to pray for your Kona friends. So some of you might already be getting prayer in the lines, but for everybody else around the room, you don't have to be a circuit rider to, to, to pray blessing and encouragement over somebody. We're just all going to go. We're one fam. So if you're from the Kona team, you came for this week, you're still in the room, we're going to bless every single one of you tonight. So if you're here, we're just going to get two or three to gather on every single one of you. We love you guys so much, and we want you guys to go full in your hearts, full of faith, full of life, and overflowing in the Holy Spirit. So if you're from the Kona team, can you put your hand up? Lots of you. Okay, now we can't have anybody not getting prayer. So if you're from the community or a circuit rider, we're going to go around every single one of these guys. I just want one or two people, preferably guys with guys, girls with girls. If we don't do it perfect, it's okay. But I just want every single person with their hand up to get a prayer tonight of blessing that the Holy Spirit will release favor and life and His Spirit overflowing. 
that there would just be an infilling of fresh courage for the next season, an infilling of fresh faith, of life in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we ask every person with a hand up. Lord, I just ask as they're getting prayer, Lord, that the deposit from this season would bear fruit for years and years to come, Lord. That the deposit from this week would launch them into the next season, that their hunger and their faith to come, Lord. In humility, Lord, would you breathe on it? We ask for a deposit of faith tonight, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we ask, Holy Spirit, that you would pour out faith, Lord. more seconds of praying unless you're really locked in the zone here's what we're going to do is we're we're going to end tonight where we started with every one of our eyes back on jesus and we're just going to pour out um with one more song but just that last drop of praise and worship that's in our hearts together as friends as family we're just going to give everything back to jesus we're going to give him all the glory tonight we're going to give him every last drop of praise and worship so we're going to sing one more song so I want to invite you to stand up with me. Unless you're really getting touched by the love of God, you can stay seated. That's great. But let's all turn our affection. Let's turn our attention back straight on Jesus. As you guys are getting your last prayers, that's great. 
But Annalise is going to lead us. We're going to go one more song. So Jesus, we fix our eyes back on you, Lord. We thank you for meeting with us tonight, Lord. We thank you for healing sick bodies, Lord. We thank you for releasing freedom, God. We thank you, Lord, that you minister to our hearts, Jesus, that you're able, that you're willing, that you're a good, kind king, full of mercy, Jesus. So, Lord, we just, we worship and we celebrate who you are tonight, Lord, in Jesus' name. Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my comfort. Shelter. 
we celebrate Jesus tonight. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Man, I can't help it. I can't help it. We're just ending. We're, we're done. But I just, I don't know. I feel the same in you. I love him. You love him. We all love him. Can we just give him one more shout of love? Like we love you. we go tonight, Lord, our only desire is that we would go in this place of your presence, Lord, that you would fill our cars, our homes, our workplaces, Lord, this whole week, would it be saturated in your beautiful, glorious presence, Lord, so we thank you for meeting us tonight, and for all that you did, we give you the glory, Jesus, and we can't wait for more of you, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, awesome, man, you guys are amazing, have a great night, Monday night, 6 p.m., in the big room down there for Monday nights, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. here, Thursday night, 6.30. Come join us. You're all welcome. Kona, come see us again soon. We love you. Thank you, band. Thank you, team.